All right, so first things first, I wanna wish you guys a happy new year. It's officially the second day of 2023. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys did anything fun for New Year's Eve to bring in the new year, or if you have any exciting uh, resolutions, I definitely wanna hear about those. As you guys might know, uh, last year, my resolution was to finally be able to dunk a basketball, right? And uh, I did make some progress on that, but I'm not quite there yet, but it's okay because that continues to be my resolution until I actually can do it. And I think this is going to be a year. We'll see. Anyways, uh, for this video, we are going to be taking on the Cell Max event, which I think is still considered by a lot of people to be one of, if not the hardest event in the entire game, right? I mean, it's mainly that third phase of the Cell Max fight that just hits stupidly, stupidly hard. And with any normal team, um, you're pretty likely to die, right? But as you will see in this video, with the release of the new LR Orange Piccolo, the event has basically become, I don't wanna quite say a joke, but it's very, very manageable now. And even if you don't have your own Orange Piccolo, if you bring a friend Piccolo that's like decently built up, um, you can still crush Cell with just a Piccolo alone. Of course, there's also the Gohan, he's there as well. Um, honestly, his performance compared to the Piccolo has been pretty disappointing. Not to say he's terrible, he's not, he's still pretty good, it's just he's a lot worse than Piccolo, which is kind of sad because he was definitely the one that I think most people were the most hyped for in the Dual Dokkan Fest, right? But anyways, uh, we'll include him too because it's on theme with the event, so there is the team. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the first two phases uh, should be pretty chill because, uh, you know, he doesn't hit that hard, he doesn't have that much, you know, HP. So we'll probably breeze through those pretty quickly. And then once we get to the third phase, we'll most likely transform into Orange Piccolo uh, as soon as possible. So here we go. Okay, uh, I'm definitely gonna keep the Piccolo. Now these guys don't really share a lot of links. As you can see, they only have Fierce Battle and uh, also Legendary Power, of course, right? Once we get the Super. So um, they're not the best linking partners, but they both get a lot of key from just getting key orbs, so it should be fine to link them anyways. Yeah, there you go, two links, and there you have it. Now, uh, yesterday, I actually wanted to make some videos for you guys on New Year's Day, but uh, my parents had this, like, big uh, New Year's party at their place, so I was there for most of the day helping them uh, prepare, you know, setting the tables, uh, doing a lot of cleaning, um, prepping the food, and all that stuff. In fact, I was actually helping my dad shuck about a hundred oysters, right? And uh, I've done it in the past, but it's been a while since I had done it before yesterday, right? And, uh, you know, you use one of those, like, tools, one of those, like, uh, I don't know what you call it, but it's, it's, it's like a little... Not quite a blade, but it kind of looks like a blade, like a little dagger thing. It's not like super sharp, but pretty sharp, right? And uh, yeah, I was just like, you know, doing my thing, uh, opening oysters and all that. And um, I stabbed myself in the thumb and just like basically made a hole in my thumb. So that was, that was not a lot of fun, but the party itself was good. <laughs> the party itself was good. So uh, I guess it was worth it. You know, um, a lot of the guests enjoy the oysters that I bled for, literally, and uh, it was a good time. But that was why I wasn't here yesterday. Um, but now that we are here, uh, I intend to create a lot of new content for you guys this year. Uh, probably just the one video today, but tomorrow we'll do a couple more. And uh, of course, we got the, uh, what do you call it? We got the Extreme Z battle, Extreme Z battle for the Broly and Gogeta from the Broly movie, right, coming up. So. That's gonna be pretty exciting. Yo, I've been waiting for those guys to Extreme Z Awaken for a long time. For a long time. I mean, they were basically, um, okay, I'm not gonna say unusable, because that's not accurate. But they were definitely outdated for, for, for a while now. 
right? But uh, yeah, with these EZAs, I'm sure these guys are gonna be monsters. I mean, just given like the current trend of EZAs over the last year, a couple of months or so. So uh, yeah, high hopes for those guys. Definitely very excited for that. Is this my 55% Piccolo? I think it is. Yo, that's a 55% Piccolo. Getting over 10 mil attack. I think actually the most I've seen him get is like 12, 13 mil. And that wasn't even fully built up either. We still got one more stack of the uh, attack and defense from taking hits, right? So yeah, anybody that says like Piccolo, I mean, I don't hear a lot of people saying it, but if anybody does try to make an argument that Piccolo is not good offensively, that's just not true. <laughs> that is just not true. I mean, Piccolo, obviously, when fully built up, uh, doesn't really rival Gohan because Gohan gets like the additional super attack, the toxic effective against all. He's definitely much more offensively focused, right? But I don't think that his offense makes up for his lack of defense, which is where Piccolo specializes. I mean, Piccolo is just... Hold on, I can't transform... Oh, oh, hold on. I was going to transform Piccolo immediately, right? But I just realized to get it on turn three, you need a full uh, rotation of superheroes. And unfortunately, this Piccolo right here is not a superheroes category unit. He's here with the Battle of Wits leader skill. So uh, we're one turn too early, which is a little bit concerning. But I think it's gonna be fine as long as as long as Pan doesn't eat a super right here. Yeah, as long as Pan doesn't eat a super attack, as long as she dodges, we should be fine. Fingers crossed. Okay, taking it normal for 193k, you know, it's just, just casual. Yo, if she wants to take normals, we can live with that, as long as she's dodging super attacks. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Yo. Pan came in clutch. And gave me clutch. And uh, of course, STR Piccolo doing his thing. Tanking very well. Alright. Um, yeah, that was a little scary, man. But uh, Pan came through. Now it's time for Orange Piccolo to do his thing. Uh, of course, tanking the normals for double digits. And. Oh, you know what? Let's do this first. Let's pop the Beast Gohan. Animation, get a little bit more damage in there, and then we'll do the orange piccolo transformation. So even though I've said many times now that orange piccolo is better than Gohan, no question. Nobody can debate that. I mean you can, but you'd be wrong. I still think that Gohan has the best animation in the game right now. Okay, I think this beast Gohan animation is the single greatest animation in Dokkan at the moment. So he still got that going for him, right? He still got that going for him. You know, his kit overall, kind of disappointing. But that one animation, man, that active skill animation, it is just glorious. Now, this one's pretty close. <laughs> I gotta say, this, this orange piccolo transformation is pretty close. But definitely number one right now is Beast Gohan. And you can, you can argue with me on that. I, I, I would still disagree, but if you want to make a case for one of the 7th Anniversary LRs, or I don't know, 5th uh, Anniversary Blue Gogeta is still pretty hype, right? Um, I wouldn't say that's unreasonable, but Beast Gohan right now for me is number one, no question. Okay, so basically uh, Piccolo is going to go to work here. This is the Rainbowed Friend Piccolo as well, so he's going to be hitting extra hard. Uh, obviously, as far as defense goes, it doesn't matter because <clears throat> um, because he doesn't take damage, right? In Giant 4, we don't take damage, so uh, you don't have to worry about uh, taking a super for like 5 million damage or whatever it's going to be. You know, we will see... 
probably a super taken by the orange piccolo and uh i think it's gonna be at least like two million but once again it doesn't matter it doesn't matter because we are invulnerable we have god mode in this state so sell mask and super as as much as he wants it's not really gonna make a difference okay and yeah okay so no super there and this transformation as far as i'm aware is between um two to three turns now obviously you want the three turns just because it looks like two turns might not be enough to kill him if you get that third turn then there's a decent chance you actually take him out um but even if we can't i still have the second piccolo so we can just do this all over again and uh yeah i mean like i said at the beginning of this video cell max has become kind of uh manageable he's become very manageable and this isn't even the best possible team oh two mil they're right there okay um yeah like this isn't even the best possible team to take against him because if you have the gammas you can definitely bring the gammas and do very very well with them as well um you know with their tanking and damage output um that would help but you don't need them like i don't have the gammas and it doesn't really matter because we we just need orange piccolo like Orange Piccolo is solo carrying the Cell Max event. So yeah, um, he's a monster. He's a monster. And I do once again want to shout out Don Amner from the stream a couple days ago, who uh, gave me the funds to, oh, we got one more turn. It's over, it's over. Yeah, this is gonna do it. Piccolo is gonna just completely wipe out Cell Max before you even have a chance to revert to the you know, normal Piccolo. So, yeah, um, Don Amner. Yeah, I, I did one multi on stream just because I had 50 stones from the events, and I was like, I'll try, and uh, I didn't get anything. I, no, actually, I got an AGL LR Gohan, which is my eighth extra copy now. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, if you do the math, I have two Rainbow Gohans. So if you count the second Rainbow Gohan as extra copies as well, then that is 13 extra AGL Gohans I've pulled after I rainbowed my first AGL Gohan. Anyways, I got that. I was like, okay, it's not meant to be. And then Amner makes a dono, 100 bucks. He's like, summon, buy some stones. I was like, okay, don't mind if I do. And uh, with that multi, the next, literally the next multi after I bought the stones, got my Piccolo. But as you can see, um, we didn't even need technically my Piccolo because the friend Piccolo just did everything. So <laughs> if you didn't manage to get Piccolo, if you if you didn't get lucky on that banner, you can still crush Cell Max just like that. You can just stomp him like the giant bug he is, and uh, you know get your missions done, get your get your stones, and uh, yeah, yeah. This Piccolo is something else, man. This Piccolo is something else. I. Like a lot of people, disrespected him a little bit when I first saw the details. Actually, even before that, I, before, when we just saw the banners, I mainly focused on Gohan because, like, it's Beast Gohan, right? But Orange Piccolo is clearly the prize in this Dual Dokkan Fest, man. He is clearly the one that you want between the two if you... I mean, at this point, I'm sure a lot of people have already done all their summons, but if you are still debating between, like, which one to spend more stones on, which one is more worthy of your stones, it's pretty evidently Piccolo, man. It's pretty obviously Piccolo. If you want to be able to just crush events like uh, Cell Max or the uh, Red Zone Broly, for example, right? Like, those events um, where the enemies hit really hard and you tend to die a lot at the final phase, uh, get Piccolo, and he will he will carry you through all that. So uh, that's all there is to say, guys. Happy New Year. Thank you for watching. Happy 2023. Hopefully this year is awesome for everyone. And um, yeah, that that's it. As always, if you like today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.